Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Computer Man Man here, and welcome back to a brand new video, first day of the October ter half term holiday, um, looking to get some videos out to you guys. So, uh, the video today is how to set time on Windows, so these are very short, uh, quick, simple, different like tips and things on the best possible ways to save time. Okay, so the first one, uh, which we've got, is how to get past a website that is down. Um, I think we've had it before where a website's been down, you've sort of like clicked on it, and it just sits there spinning and spinning. Like trying to load for absolutely ages and then when it does load it'll either come up with an error like I don't know error 404 or some you know some other sort of error to do with a server type thing uh, so one of them I'm going to do is one called Eclipse uh, Downloads uh, I looked on a website beforehand which said which websites were currently down and this Eclipse website was one of them so I'm going to click it and just show you what I mean but I'm going to wait about 20-30 seconds to see what happens, so 30 seconds starts now. Still not loaded. Because it shouldn't really take up to about 30 seconds to load a web page. Um, usually it should pretty much load like instantly within the first 5 seconds. So we're on about 20 seconds right now. Almost 30. Actually, we'll give it a bit more. We'll go 35. Yeah, and that's it. So 35 seconds has passed, and the web page still has not loaded. Right, so now I'm going to show you how we're going to get around this problem. So it's really quite a simple thing. So what you're going to want to do is look at the link underneath where the title is. So as you can see, I'm highlighting now this is the link. And then there should be a little green arrow uh, next to it. Click it, and then it will say something called cached. And you're going to want to click on that. And now that we've clicked it, the web page appears to actually be loading now. And boom, there we go. So the web page has now actually loaded now what this basically is is when you use the cache version of the web page google basically takes a screenshot before it went down so it's basically a way to access it before the page goes down uh, however this won't work for all websites and you can't really interact with everything on the website properly because it's only a snapshot and it might not have everything sort of built into the snapshot basically so some things might be unusable and some websites you might not be able to get into at all so it's a bit hit or miss okay guys so for the next trick um i actually only just found this one recently um in the last couple of days and i was really really amazed by it so basically um i've made a three important files and I'm going to show you basically a cool way how to undelete them. So if you accidentally delete them, um, if you right click and then go to the option called undo delete. And then bang, as you can see, our files have now come straight back in. So I think this is absolutely incredible. But yeah. Just remember the hotkey, control Z, and then that will just completely bring it back. Or either you can do right click, undo, delete. So it saves a lot, lot of time and hassle and stress. So awesome. Right guys, so for the last one, for the third way to save time, is use browser programs. Now the reason why I say this is when you go to install a program, it takes a bit of time to sort of set up. Because obviously... But there's actually quite a, a few different examples I'm going to show you of ways to do things where you don't need to actually install anything. You can 
do these tasks straight from in your internet browser. So the first one I've got is called Pixlr, Pixlr Editor. Uh, basically this Pixlr is an alternative to Photoshop. It's basically an online version of Adobe Photoshop uh, and it's really good. Uh, it's not got all the functions of Photoshop but it is super basic. Uh, and it's what I actually use for my thumbnails now actually to uh, edit them because it saves me having to find Photoshop online or find an alternative and install it. It just takes so much less time. The next one we have is SaveFrom.net, uh, which is the supposedly the fastest YouTube downloader according to them. Um, and all it is is just like you get a YouTube video, put the link, choose the quality, and then you just download it. So. You know, so you don't need all these programs where you have a built-in YouTube downloader, which you've got to set up and install. You can just straight from the internet. And you can also get ones for um, if you just type in on Google like YouTube MP3. I'll just show you that now, actually. So YouTube to MP3. And then it should be on a website called youtube-mp3.org. And yeah, basically it's just a simple way of downloading um, YouTube videos. And you can probably get ones for different websites as well. So awesome there. And then the last one we have is um, onlineconverter.com. Uh, so basically what this one is... Um, it's a giant online converter library, so as you can see from this main screen here, uh, you can convert audio files, you can select the video format you want to convert to, um, image formats, document converters, uh, you know, you get sort of everything on this website, and it even says at the top right corner of this website, yeah, so it says convert media free, fast and online, no software installation needed and that's what I'm trying to get at here it's amazing but yeah guys so that is practically the end of the video I showed you three cool uh, useful tips which was the cache web pages undo delete and browser programs uh, I will leave the uh, program links down below in the description so you can um, get a hold of them straight away you don't have to use the ones that I've said they're just examples for you to use. But uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, rate, and subscribe if it helped you out. And I'll see you guys on my next video, which should be Wednesday. Goodbye.